What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, Barrow just showed up on all platforms. Let's see what he's got. It's been a while since Barrow's been actually good, so I'm holding out hope today. And yeah, sorry there haven't been really that many live streams recently. Uh, I've got a broken AC unit, and also, I'm just honestly trying to like save up some energy for the new update on the 18th. So yeah, Jade Shadows on the 18th and the new uh, event on the 18th, so just trying to save some energy for that right now, guys. But yeah, let's see what Barrow's got. This is one of the main things you could do in Warframe this weekend. And yeah, we will have the new uh, Galaxian Augment video on Monday, because I will have enough Nightwave uh, rep to get that new Galaxian Augment. But yeah, that's not going to be a Barrow. Let's see what Barrow's got today. Tenno, may I Come on, new Prime Mod. My latest collection of choice items from what the is that? Is now available for viewing. What is that, dude? Baruch Doan Silhouette Glyph. Please tell me that's not the new item. That can't be the new item. That's the new item. Oh, man. Who could get excited about that? All right. Well, I think the new item at Barrow is the Baruch Don Glyph, whatever it's called. Well... Let's hope that I'm just wrong. Let's do a full borrow inventory review, uh, starting with the prime mods. That there are there are no new prime mods, but look, they got prime convulsion and prime redirection. So you know what, the new item might be terrible, but he's got some good stuff. These now, if you haven't played in a while, these are the newest prime mods in Warframe. Right, we got prime convulsion, which is a must-have on uh, pistols. is great for corrosive builds. Honestly, you need this. And also, Prime Redirection, giving you a lot of extra shield capacity. Uh, it I would not say it's a must-have, but it's actually really good. So you should definitely like consider having this, at least. As far as the other Prime Mods, you got Prime Pack Leader giving Overguard on your companion if you melee. And also, Prime Heated Charge goes great with Prime Convulsion. And the Corrosive Heat Building also got Prime Expel Corpus and High Voltage for Rifles. Moving on to Appearance stuff here, we've got... Um, any of these skins look interesting to you? Feel free to grab them. We've got the tiger and the the tigress and the Opticore elixir skin, with immortal and some other stuff too. For weapons, you only got the Prisma Gorgon. There is a Prisma Gorgon in Karnon, but it's not exactly the best in the game. And this is also 600 ducats. This thing. Uh, if you want to level it up for mastery, go for it. it. It is a bit better than mastery, but also like not many people are really using this thing that regularly. For the miscellaneous tab, you got Zanuka Hunter Beacons to get the normal Detron to, sm uh, to drop. And also you can farm a Dojo Pigment from this as well. Heavy Gunner Spectre Blueprint. I love how it says deploys a Corrupted Heavy Gunner in caps to fight for you. I, have not, I don't think I've ever actually used one of these before, but yeah, you can get one of them. You can get five of them for 100 ducats and 40,000 credits, if that's what you want to do with your credits. And yeah, just some cosmetic stuff. So as far as what should you get from Borrow this visit... Uh, it's actually not that hard of a decision because Barra brought some actual really good stuff this visit. Okay, so make sure you have Prime Convulsion. This is your number one priority at this Barra. It is an extremely good mod. If you want to make a Dual Toxicist build, this mod will be on your Dual Toxicist build. If you're trying to make a new build for Mesa's Pistols, this will be on Mesa's Regulator Pistols. This will be on lots and lots of things going forward. Uh, especially now that, you know, enemy's armor will be capped. Enemy's armor will be capped in the Jade Shadows update. These corrosive builds will be... Uh, you can just mod for upfront corrosive damage, not status chance as much. So yeah, this is going to be a great one. It, it already is a great one. It'll be even better going forward. You need this mod if you want to have high-tier DPS pistol builds in Warframe. Moving on to Prime Redirection. Again, like I said earlier, you don't need this. But if you play Hildren, you need this. If you play any frames that you want to have high shield capacity on, you need this. If you haven't played in a while, you might not remember this, but now shield gating duration scales how many shields you have. So this will get you to the maximum shield gate on frames, which is like 2.5 seconds, I think, uh, relatively easily. So yeah, it's a very, very good mod. It's a mod that I might even buy some extra copies of to sell to people. You need this mod for sure. For Prime Heated Charge, if you are getting Prime Convulsion, you want to have like the most damage possible, I'd say you probably want this too. Because what you could do is you could do Prime Convulsion, like a Toxin mod next to it to make Corrosive, then Prime Heated Charge have Corrosive and Heat. Corrosive and Heat will remove almost all enemy armor in the Jade Shadows update. 
So, yeah, you definitely uh, will at least want to make a Corrosive Heat build. You don't need Prime Heat to charge for it, but for maximum damage, you might want it. So Corrosive Cold will also be good, though. You can't do Corrosive Cold with this. But yeah, these three mods right here, you might want to get these. Uh, I do like Prime Pack Leader. I use it on Venari when I'm playing Korra. Korra's Whip Claw does count as a melee hit for this. So it will heal the companion, it will give them Overguard, and Venari can get Overguard. It's kind of hard to tell unless you like, look directly at Venari. Prime Expel Corpus, this is probably the one you can you can dodge this week. Although there is an event that is going to be uh, the Jade Shadows like Belly of the Beast event, will involve Corpus enemies. Unless you are uh, really feeling like you're not doing enough damage to Corpus, uh, you really don't need this one. And High Voltage, I believe this comes from... Uh, does this come from uh, the... This comes from the Infested uh, Sabotage, I believe. So you might not need to get this from, from Borrow, but a, a little bit fuzzy right now. This, this might only be from Borrow, or it might be the one that comes from High Sabotage. Let me know in the comments down below if you remember which one. So yeah, as far as the other stuff, you don't really need any of this other stuff. Uh, Prisma Gorgon for Mastery, or for a, you know, a good-ish good, good weapon for Incarnon. We have main thing, guys, these three really good Prime mods. Uh, mainly these two. You probably already have Prime, Prime Heat Charge been here for years. These brand new ones right here, you need, uh, you need at least Prime Convulsion, for sure. These are Newer than any other Prime Mod League. People thought they were glitched out because he hadn't brought them in such a long time. But yeah, he had brought Prime Convulsion and then Prime Redirection back to back, like in two different visits. So, too bad about no new good item that's like new. But uh, yeah, there is the <laughs> there's the Baruch Deluxe Glyph if you want to get that. Um, maybe once Tenocon comes around, you can start making actual good items at Borrow again. But I'm not gonna hold my breath on it because I mean. We have, we have we have been shown the true nature of the borrow new items. It will be it will be the Twitch drop you forgot about from four years ago. It will be the it will be the glyph in the in the bundle that you you forgot even was an option for borrow. It will be that until there's nothing else to put in there, and then at that point they'll just make there will always, there will always be things to put in. There. They'll have some like they'll have some other Twitch drop you forgot about to put in there. So yeah, get those prime redirections to sell. Get those prime convulsions to sell. I doubt Prime Heated Charge really sells as much. It's not really new. But Prime Convulsion and Prime Redirection are premium items that returning players are going to want. I mean, every Dual Tox build is going to be using the um, the Prime Convulsion mod. Every every shield, every shield, Hildred in the game wants the Prime Redirection mod for more shields. So they're pretty good mods. It's just, uh, yeah, you wish that the new things he was bringing were actually exciting too. So that's basically it for the video, guys. Hope you found it fun and helpful. Um, I will see you... I'll see you on stream on Sunday, probably. It is really, really hot right now and pretty miserable, so I might stream tonight, but I'm not. don't hold your breath on it. So, see you guys very soon, though. Take it easy. Peace.